Hey y'all, this is Brian with Cliffside Outfitters. Uh, we're going to do a uh, short video today uh, on how to keep your live bait alive. Uh, a lot of you guys go out and fish, you're just like us, you buy minnows, you bring them home because you didn't catch the fish that you was expecting to catch, because you know that happens. And uh, so you bring them home, you got them in the bucket, they die. There goes 15, 16 bucks. Uh, now here at Cliffside Outfitters, we have built a minnow tank out of an old freezer uh, so that we can keep minnows alive a little longer and save us some money on our fishing trips. Because, uh, you know, you do that two or three trips and there you go, you, you've got a, you could have bought a rod. So uh, I'm going to build a filter slash aeration system on the cheap uh, with some items that I've picked up at home and uh, there's a few things that we had to buy and I'll show you what you need to do the project and you don't have to do yours just exactly like I do mine uh, you can do it uh, with uh, items that that you found at home that you can use but you will need a uh, you will need a pump that uh, uh, that you can buy at a store and uh, hopefully uh, you've got some way to run a 12 volt pump if you buy that type. Uh, they make 12, uh, 120 volt pumps, uh, but they're a whole lot more expensive. So uh, you can get a 12 volt pump and a cheap transformer and uh, keep your minnows alive so you have more fishing trips and you save yourself money. So stay with us. Uh, we'll keep it just as short as possible. Hey y'all, this is Brian with uh, Cliffside Outfitters and uh, what we're doing today, we're working on a system that's going to help keep our bait alive. Um, I've rounded up some stuff that uh, some of you guys can find this stuff around uh, the home. Uh, you may have to go pick up a few things, in fact I had to pick up uh, a couple things uh, from a hardware store uh, but we're going to build a cheap filtration system that you can utilize for a pond or a bait tank uh, it's a fairly large filter uh, so uh, it's not for an aquarium but for a pond or a bait tank or uh, something like that this is going to work real well uh, we're going to use ours uh, to try to save us some money on bait, this will it'll do some filtration, but the main purpose is aerating the water uh, so that the ammonia can evaporate from the water. And a lot of times that's what kills your fish, and that's what uh, makes you have to change the water so often. So what I've got is a container. We're going to use uh, an old coffee can. Uh, you can use any kind of container that has a, a tight fitting lid, preferably something that's plastic so it won't rust. And what I have done, I've cut a hole, uh, a rough hole with a pair of scissors that will uh, allow my hose to go inside this container. And the hose will go through the container and attach to a pump. This is just a bilge pump. Uh, you can get these at any of the big box stores or marine supply. I happened to pick mine up at the big box store, so um, it was 18 bucks, and that's what I'm going to have in this project because everything else that I had or that I'm going to utilize, I already had. Uh, I had some leftover hose and some. PVC pipe and a little bit of screen wire out in the building, so uh, some fiber fill out of a HVAC filter, uh, a new one, not a used one. So I'm going to have 18 bucks in my filter, and I'm going to show y'all how to, to assemble this, put it together. Um, <clears throat> the first thing you want to do is get this hole cut, and you also want to get a hole cut for the wires for this pump to go out the top of the container. So we feed our hose inside the container, and my hose was about 
the same size as the outlet on the pump so I had to heat it up a little bit with a lighter and uh, so that it would stretch over the inlet of the pump and it fits nicely and we're going to pull that right back down in there like that we're going to place our pump inside the container we've got the positive and negative wires that will run to our battery uh, you can use a electrical transformer that you can pick up uh, fairly cheap that they it's 12 volt uh, for like a doorbell and run it off that and that way uh, you won't never have to worry about charging the battery but uh, get that put in there just like that get your wire out the top and because all this is buoyant uh, I went down to the creek and I picked up a couple stones out of the creek and we're going to use those stones in here to offset the buoyancy of all this plastic and that way our filter will stay on the bottom uh, we're going to take our fiber fill now you could put charcoal in here but I would use a large charcoal because we're going to have a high flow rate uh, but I'm using this mainly for the aeration it'll do some filtration uh, so we're going to put some fiber fill in there uh, and that'll be our filter medium now I took the lid from the coffee can and I cut the center of it out and I left a quarter to three eighths all the way around and uh, we're going to take the screen that I cut to fit on top of this and it don't have to be perfect the minnows don't care and we're going to take our oh, excuse me take our ring and we're going to put it on top and that way the minnows won't be go down in there uh, nothing can get in there and and our metals won't get down in there and get stuck. So we have our filter assembled. Now, we're going to take the other end of the hose that I had, and I went out to the building. I thought I was going to have to go to the hardware store and get a piece of PVC pipe and a 90, but I found a scrap piece uh, that was left over from another project that had a 90 already glued in it. And uh, I took my drill and I drilled some 8 inch holes in here. Uh, you can go bigger or smaller. It depends on how uh, aggressive you want it to spray. And uh, so we've got our 90, we've got our down piece, and we've got our holes. And I drilled my holes at an angle so that it sort of sprays out away from the wall and uh, uh, creates more aeration. And then I had this uh, old rubber cap. I didn't have an actual cap that goes on the PVC pipe, but I had this off of a copper line that I'd purchased at some point and so I stuck that on the end if you were uh, or if you were using new PVC and a 90 and a cap I don't believe I'd even glue it I don't think as long as you've got enough flow this pumps not going to push this apart so you could just push it together and fit it real tight and then take the end of your hose and you're going to put the PVC down inside the hose and if it fits as tight as mine does, you don't even have to put a clamp on it. So now we have our filter that's going to go down in our minnow tank. It's going to pump the water out, and it's going to pump it up to this spray head that we've created. And uh, when we get it all set up, I'll show you how it works. Guys, if you enjoy our videos, please like and subscribe. Until next time, this is Cliffside Outfitters. Y'all have a good day.